move on now to Sydney's Sydney Morning Herald tomorrow, where the headline reads, Parents to Welcome Co-Ed Breakthrough. <laughs> Hundreds of students in Sydney's inner and southwest will have guaranteed access to a nearby co-educational public high school in a major win for parents who have campaigned for years for more schooling options. Nick, uh, education is the number one issue when you speak to a lot of people in New South Wales, specifically Sydney, where the population seems to be, you know, exploding, but housing and schooling are the options that are not really uh, meeting their needs. This is at least a win for the latter. I think anything that gives parents more choice in schooling is a good thing. Uh, I wish mm -hmm. there was more. Um, and there are a lot of parents, of course, are giving away the public school system altogether and putting their kids in, in private schools or, or faith schools of one sort or another. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good thing, but look, look I mean, the state of our, our schooling is not good. We know that because the results that are coming out are, are, are very bad. A lot of parents, grandparents, uh, are concerned about what children are being taught these days, the nature of the education. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just... I just I'm glad I'm not putting my kids through school in this in this era. It, I, it just would be a terribly mm. difficult thing, I think. Jenna, Jenna, I'm not yeah. so sure. I'm not so sure it's a win because the performances from children in single sex sex schools is outstanding. So, you know, some children, a lot of children, single sex schools, they're much better suited to them. So, I don't know. It's a big win. Like Nick said, it's choice, and that's a good thing. Yeah. Look, it's going to be interesting to see how this is received tomorrow. No doubt.